to you. What have you done to your hand? Oh, what a cool thing. to see a doctor. I don't have an appointment. I'm afraid all the doctors are fully booked. Um, would you be able to see a nurse instead? Yeah. That one would do very nicely, thank you. Sorry, do I know you? Not yet. I'm afraid Nurse Hallam is very busy today. If I wait, do you think you'd be able to squeeze me in? Can I have your name, please? Eleanor Warden. Please take a seat. I'll call you if there's a cancellation. the beans. Hey. When are you seeing Caroline again? Tonight. Really? Yeah, I'm going round hers with him. And will the charming Ed be joining you? Uh, yeah. Well, you must have made a good impression if they've invited you back. Make a better one tonight. I'm not taking the chair. Oh. Are you up to your sticks for a whole evening? Getting stronger every day. Pretty impressive. Just don't overdo it, will you? It's just a matter of time. I won't even need these things. <laughs> what have you done with all the patients? I think they all came in yesterday. Honestly, it was completely rammed, complete mayhem. Yeah, right. You were sat on your backside all day. It was, honest. If you say so. How's things going with Michelle? All right. Yeah? Going to the cinema with her tonight. I gathered. Have a good chat. I expect you will. You do like her, right? Oh, I better get on. So, what brings you here today? It's my shoulder. I went salsa dancing last night and this man twisted me in a funny way. Okay, he just grabbed me and twirled me round and round. I've never known anything like it. I mean, it was nice, but... Okay, where exactly does it hurt? Oh, all along the back. Okay. Would you start to uh, loosen your clothes and I'll take a look? That's what he said. <laughs> Where's your sense of humour? Uh, just loosen your clothes, please. Have you hurt your shoulder dancing before? No, it's the first time I've ever been. I thought I'd try something new, you know, get out of the house. Yeah, oh. I don't think you'll be dancing for a few weeks. Not sure I'd want to, actually. All the men there, they're so forward. They're just obsessed with themselves. They talk and talk and you can't get a word in edgeways. It's not an attractive quality. I mean, whatever happened to dialogue, to conversation? Don't people listen anymore? You can uh, put your clothes back on now. Thank you, nurse. That was uh, a very thorough examination. Um, what are you doing? If only I were ten years younger. Mm. Or you were ten years older. <laughs> I'm not fussy. <laughs> mwah, mwah. Ciao, beautiful boy. I promise she was not like that during the examination. I should hope not. Face it, the older ladies just love Archie Hallam. It wouldn't be so jolly if you were being harassed. No, but I wasn't, was I? Highly inappropriate. If you're uncomfortable with that, then there are procedures. Nah, just forget it. I will be in my room.
You all right, mate? Yeah. Just lost my balance. Do you, uh, do you want a hand? I should be able to do this by now. Pay yourself. Yeah, I twisted my ankle. Let me take a look. No, I'm fine. But do you think maybe you're rushing this a bit? Or should I stay in this? No, I didn't mean... <laughs> Just push that to me, please. Come here often. What are you playing at? Is it so wrong to flirt with a younger man? Stop it. I understand if you're shy. I want you to know that's all right. Can I tempt you into having a drink with me? No, thank you. I've got to get back to work. Are you always this well behaved? Yes, I am. Mm. I don't believe you. I'll bet you can be a very bad boy when you want to be. Is it going to be much longer? Mmm, just the person. A little bit of fun to liven up our lunchtime. Compatibility test. Right. Well, the magazine was lying around, so I thought, you know. You don't have to. No, go on. Really? Oh, great, right. <clears throat> Question one What is your ideal first date? Candlelit dinner? Or a bag of chips. Or well, can I not have a candlelit bag of chips? No, it's definitely neither or question. <laughs> we'll have to be the candlelit dinner then. Really? Hmm. Question two. Which of these animals do you most resemble? A cat, a dog, or a hamster? Are you sure you wouldn't rather we sat? I mean, we could talk, get to know each other a little bit. I thought you were married. My husband, Tom, he's been um, preoccupied lately. You don't say. He gets very wrapped up in his own world. It's no wonder I have to look elsewhere. This isn't the way to get back even though, is it? That guy over there, do you know him? No. It's just he was at the surgery before, and he followed you out without waiting for his appointment. And now he's here. You're frightening me. You sure you don't recognise him? No. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe. <laughs> well, let's play it safe. Right, just wait here a couple of minutes, then follow me outside. Just to be sure. I don't know about this. I'll be fine. I trust me. Thank you. What kind of pervert are you? If it's broken, I'm sending you the bill. That's how what you're doing, or I'm gonna call the police. Out of my way. All right. I'll put it away. My name's Joshua Davis. I'm a private investigator. I've been hired to keep tabs on that woman. And it's all legit, all above board. Private investigator, you've just blown my cover. Thanks for that. Well, who hired you? My husband. The agency doesn't give me the details. They just tell me what to do and where to send my report. I'm not supposed to believe that, am I? Believe what you like. I won't be losing any sleep over it. Listen, it's been a delight talking to you, but I'm going to make tracks. And if I lose this client because of you, I'll be sending you a bill for more than just the camera. Hey, you all right? I think you're... Been... <laughs> hey. hey, look, it's OK. All right, let's get you back to the mill. 
and you can talk about it and you can freshen up. No! Hey, no, listen, I am not taking no for an answer. So I think he was photographing you the whole time? Maybe. They have cameras hidden in pens, buttons, all sorts. I've seen it on the telly. Listen, I should go. I've taken up enough of your time. Hey, no, look, feel free to stick around. Get your head together. Did you have any idea who was going to do this? No. And is he aware of your uh, frustrations? I could grow wings and Tom wouldn't notice. <laughs> He's always been intense, you know, wrapped up in his own world, but things have been unbearable since he got into photography. He's practically given up looking for a job. He just spends all day playing with his stupid cameras. I tried telling him I was unhappy, that I'd leave him if he didn't start paying me some attention. Well, he certainly seems to be doing that. What, by getting somebody to spy on me? I just wanted him to say something nice, just once. Instead of which... Hey, no, it's all right. You know, I know recently I've been a little... How would you say? Over the top. But I, I've been so lonely. Tom drove me to it, so he's no-one to blame but himself. Listen, look, I've got afternoon surgery starting soon, but honestly, feel free to stick around and I can walk you home afterwards. Just to make sure you're OK. I can't ask you to do that. No, it's fine, honestly. <sighs> Thank you. So are we compatible, then? Mike? So what were your answers? Am I with the wrong woman? Oh, no, no, no. You don't think I was trying to find out if we were... I was answering for Michelle. Just trying to find out if you two are compatible. Is that so? Yes, I mean, look at it. When was your first kiss? Well, mine certainly wasn't as young as 13, whereas I know that... Hi, Michelle. Hey. OK, what's going on? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I was just about to head over to the mill, actually. Hey, I got hold of that DVD that you wanted. Great. Can I come round yours and watch it tonight? I don't see why not. Wicked. <laughs> I will see you later, then. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to the cinema tonight. <gasps> oh, Ruth, I forgot. I'm sorry. It's all right. Um, we can go later in the week. You don't mind? No. OK. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Come give us a handkerchief. If I flip it out, it just push, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Just give it a push. Thank you. This is me. Do you want me to? No, uh... no, I'll be fine. Thanks for walking me back. Not a problem. You're a real gentleman. Is that your husband? Oh, just go, please. Ellie, what's been going on? I can deal with this. I've got photos of you with other men. Talk to me. Yeah, take it easy. Excuse me, I, I want to speak with my wife. Yeah, maybe you should calm down a bit first. Get out of my way. I said calm it down. Are you one of them? One of the men she's seeing? So what if he is? No, I'm not. What are you saying? Tell him I'm not. I have the pictures. Someone sent me the pictures. You can go now, Archie. I'll deal with this. Are you really seeing all these men? Someone? You hired an investigator? Me? I haven't hired anyone. Like I said, I can handle it from here.
So, Ed, you had a good day? I suppose. Oh, hi. I didn't hear you right. Ed, help me in. Oh, well, I hope you're hungry. I'm sorry about this. What? I hurt my ankles. Oh, don't worry about it. A couple of days rest, you'll be back on your sticks in no time, I'm sure. It might take longer than that. Okay. Well, look, Ed'll get you a beer and I'm just going to fix up the salad. Well, I'll help you. Oh, no, sorry, there's quite a step. I, I won't be long. You don't need to pee. The toilet's upstairs. I have to cross my legs when I. Ed! I'll get you a beer. So, you paid somebody to take photos of you. Why? I wanted Tom to know what he was throwing away. What I've been getting up to while he's been playing with his toys. I have needs, you know. The composition is terrible. Look, his framing's all out. You see what I have to put up with? He doesn't care what I do, just what shutter speed they were taken at. I thought this was the only way of grabbing his attention. By rubbing his nose in it. Has it got his attention? Not even now. No, I don't think I pushed it far enough. Here we go. It's nothing fancy, but. I smell great. Yeah. Well, I got a commission today. Yeah? Yeah, it's an architectural magazine. There's a new field going on near Litchfield. And... Well, it sounds a bit extreme. I'll shoot next week if the weather's good. What, what's so funny? You can't get under the table. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry. You don't have to apologise. It happens all the time. Shall I move this? No, really. I deal with this every day. Ed. Let's just eat, shall we? Yeah, sure. Why on earth would he do something like that? And using me, it was just a cheap shot to get him to bite. Well, he's not, though, is he? Biting. He used to tell me he loved me. I said I was the most wonderful person he'd ever met. You couldn't get enough of me, could you? Been a long time since he said anything nice to me. You are allowed to stand up for yourself, you know, mate. Hardly inspiring, is he? Oh, give the guy a break. Perhaps I should have slept with one of them. I didn't. It was all just for show. Well, that's something, at least. And that's all you've got to say on the matter, is it? So, you're into football, right? What do you think Leatherbridge Town's chances are this season? Think George Lee's going to make a difference? Dunno. I mean, putting a fashion Designer in charge of a football team is nuts. Too white. It's a joke. Maybe be redesigning the kid next. Yeah, blue and white is so last season. <laughs> Passels for home. Metallic blue <laughs> white. And a catwalk before every match. Yeah, Mum can do the fashion shit. Leather Bridges next top plonker. Hey, why don't we all catch a match sometime? Check out these new fashions. That's taking me. Oh. Okay, well, next time then. Dad plays by the side. Yeah. I used to. But not anymore. Ed, I'm warning you. You're saying. Oh, all you've got to do is tell her that you love her. And you do, don't you? Would it kill you to say it now and then? I tried. Well, you didn't make a very good job of it. I never heard you. Tried to tell you with the photos. They're a surprise. For our anniversary. Oh, gee, thanks. Photos of old rubbish, half eaten biscuits, and crumpled bits of paper. It's pathetic. This is the bottle we drank from on our first date. The local paper from the day we got married. From La Papillon, on our first anniversary. You spilled soup on it. Oh, Tom. You 
you did this for me. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh. Give me a plate. It's okay. I've got it. Ed, take the plates, please. Nick, why don't you go into the room and put on some music? Sure. Are you all right? Yeah. Ed, stop being so rude. It's Mr Bean on wheels. What do you see in him? That's enough. It's pathetic. Right, that's it. Upstairs. Why? So you can snog the cripple? Outside, now! I thought you'd gone off me. Never. So why did you stop telling me you cared? You haven't said anything nice in ages. I... You made jokes. What? When I told you I loved you, you made jokes. Said I was soppy, said I was pathetic. So I stopped saying it. Are you saying it's my fault? Don't look at me like that. I hope the two of you work it out. I'm so sorry. Look, I promise I'm going to change. I want you to say those things again. Can you forgive me? Of course. You're my wife. I... I love you. Oh, and I love you too. And I love them. I can't imagine a better present. There's one missing. The most important one. You. Look, if you can't even be civil, you can spend the rest of the evening in your room. Fine by me. I don't want to watch you slobbering all over that gonk anyway. <sighs> Look, Ed, listen. I know you're upset about me and your dad. Stop just... going on about it, OK? I, I get it. You've moved on. From now on, you're helping out the disabled in every way possible. OK, now you're just showing off. Why can't you go out with some normal bloke anyway? Look, it's none of your business. This is my house too. Look, uh, I'm going to go. No, I'm not going to let my extremely rude son ruin our evening. Well, let's face it, it's already... <laughs> you said it. Ed! No, he's right. Why do you call me a gonk? It's pathetic. Oh, God, Nick. It's not pathetic. It is. What am I doing here? What am I doing with you? It's nuts. You're going through a divorce. He obviously misses his dad. What do you want me around for? I like having you around. Mm. For more fun evenings like this. Relax. You know what? Fine. I've already got one stroppy teenager to deal with. I can really do without another one. You want to wallow in your misery? You go right ahead. Just not in my house. See yourself out. Need a hand? Oh, come on, Julia. There's no need to be scared anymore. I beg your pardon? I wasn't very nice to you, was I? Are you going to tell me who the hell Brian is? If I'd known you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. I'd like to speak with my daughter, please. She needed some personal time. We really need to talk about these results. <laughs> a dance routine turns deadly next on BBC One Scotland. Dr Sloan sees it all firsthand in Diagnosis Murder. Later, at 5.15, will Grant the golf caddy find one particular baggage more than he can bear in Weakest Link?